Um, I understand we wanted a pool for years. Um, I think the fact that we pay Seashore to take our kids for swimming lessons during the winter, we pay Monmouth University to use their pool for swim team, I don't think it's asking too much to have a 12 month a year facility. It could be used for a host of things. 50 parking spaces is not nearly enough. What's gonna happen to the, to the, the cul-de-sacs that are on the side? What's gonna happen when you wanna go park in front of your house, but now it's packed with people going to the pool? You have the recreate, rec reclamation center directly across the street. Huge trucks are in and out of there on a daily basis. Long Ridge is a walking town. You're going to have kids that are going to try and get across your line <coughs> and then deal with Atlantic Avenue, which in the summer is now a cut through for July. So the traffic is getting just as bad on Atlantic as it is on July. So now you've got the pool, you've got parking, you've got these big dumpsters pulling in and pulling out. I, I don't think it was, a thought was really given to location for, it's the farthest away from everything in town. Like, you can't get any farther north in Long Branch. I just think with all the property that is available, there's gotta be a safer spot. What about the money that we've already paid for the basketball courts and the playground and to maintain the baseball field? Does that just get washed in the garbage because someone's coming in and is gonna build all new? Well, Laura, you, you asked a bunch of questions. Let me address okay. some of them. First off, let me just say, did, did, did you say that you wanted a 12-month-a-year pool? Or I mean, no, I definitely do. I okay. think so that's the, you know, to be honest with you, this, this was an opportunity that we saw and we took advantage of. Pool at Gregory School, there's a pool at Anastasia School, camp is free. My, my son has been to both, and it's a very tiny small pool. So this is a large community pool with the kiddie pool. But, but let me just say, in other words, we saw an opportunity, we saw an opportunity where it wouldn't cost the city much, and many people throughout the city have often talked about having a community pool. This was the opportunity we, we, we took it. A indoor 12-year facility, uh, Laura, 10, 14 million dollars, easily. We couldn't do that. We, but, but how much well, money are they all spending to build all these buildings? But, but, uh, exactly. uh, I, I don't think it has anything to do with whether or not. Well, we because you I don't know that we can say to a developer, oh, by the way, we want an indoor pool, give us 14 million. Well, you more. just did that with, we want a pool. I'm sorry? But didn't you just do that with a developer by saying, we're not, we don't want a park, we want a pool? Well, first off, it, that was one of the other questions. Laura, could you address the parking situation, which obviously we talked about? Yeah, so the locations that we looked at, this was the most suitable because it already had the 50 distance right park. So. Which you said was what was necessary for the size of the pool. Correct. So that, that fits, Laura. Okay. The pool size. The other thing is, you know, I have to be honest with you. Look, we're, this is a work in progress. We saw the opportunity. We're taking, you know, we're, we're taking a chance with it, and, and I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I spoke with Mr. Zuba. He didn't think the trucks going in and out is really a problem. Uh, I must tell you, I've had a membership as a councilwoman woman vote at Ocean Township. There is never, and that place is packed, and there's all kinds of parts. There's, there's never been an issue getting in and out of there, finding a space. Uh, a lot more than 50 but, but, places but, there. But remember, when you think about a weekend uh, visit to Long Branch on the beaches, think of how large our ocean frontage, and you have thousands of people who are going to the beach. This is a community pool for residents only. So I don't think there's going to be a lot of the issue that you're, that you're talking about. Could I be wrong? Maybe. I don't think so. At least be... anybody I've talked to doesn't, you know, we don't, we don't think so. But again, it's a good point you're bringing up. Will there be buffers between the backyards of Baruch and, and where the proposed uh, pool will or... I think what's important to note is that this is not located on the first Or maybe it's tucked behind the desk. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, this is the furthest point away from the Baruch Park. It is 
tucked behind a basketball court, which would be maintained in addition to the playground area that exists out there, Thank you, would Ms. stay Collins. as well. Um, so there is landscaping enhancement proposed around the, you know, around the slope and stuff to screen, but there's no, nothing on the extremities. There's currently fencing, to the fencing there. Um, we have no problem looking at that and making sure it's adequate. But there's no plan at this point to do additional screening at that, at that 